hello people it has been a minute since we've been doing videos here we are well interesting one just stay tuned and god bless you i was looking into pastor ezekiel issue this thing of pastor mackenzie and pastor ezekiel which caught my eyes at first i was like i'm not into it i never wanted to judge i never wanted to say anything uh, but today something interesting got into my head huh? you see that woman was caught in adultery in the book of john 8 7 the scribes and the pharisees took that woman to jesus when she was caught in the sin then they told jesus this is the woman has been caught in the sin of adultery she should be stoned to death and during the time the, the law of moses and people are caught in sin they are being stoned to death but uh, something interesting jesus told them hey stop if there is no one in the midst of you who has ever committed sin should be the first one to stone this woman and everyone placed their stones down and everyone left the sin it is only that woman with jesus then Jesus told that woman, go, your sins are forgiven, and never repeat such. So here is the issue of Pastor Ezekiel. It's not that I'm defending, I don't know anything at all, at all. No one to judge or anything. I know people out here judging, speaking a lot of things. But one thing I want to tell us and encourage us, salvation is personal. It's between you and your God. We only go to churches or being allowed to be in a fellowship with brethren because jesus christ allows us to do so which is really good for the body of christ it strengthens us it encourages us when you're feeling you're weak when you're in a group or in a church you'll be prayed for like yeah you can have issues you know whatever this church is the one that will stand with you in all these no man is an island that's why we are there for the fellowship but just no salvation is personal it's between you and your god between you and your god let no one tell you i do not trust so much our leaders and we end up forgetting that it is all about our maker yet we end up worshiping our leaders the bible encourages us to respect our leaders and it guides us so much in the book of timothy on how to respect our leaders that leadership comes from god and everything and we respect that but always know that salvation is personal with god it is just you who made a prayer, confession prayer, for telling Jesus that I forgive my sin, whatever, everything, for you to be accepted back to the body of Christ. Yeah? The same way, people will just be there to encourage you, to help you, correct you. And let's know that every human being, there's no one who's righteous. We are all faulty. No one is better than the other. Today can be you, another day can be another person. So instead of being out here busy judging and speaking things that we don't know or whatever things, I'm not taking sides, but why can't we go back and wait God to do his will? God will fight for you if you are his righteous. He will fight for you no matter what. And God will not leave you nor forsake you or abandon you to go through such. He will never shame you. He will fight for you. And as human beings, we go through challenges. This is what strengthens the body of Christ. This is what strengthens us as Christians. This is what makes us even more stronger. And I pray that if it is God's, if he is righteous, if all the things that he has been accused of is not the way they are, God will fight for him because he knows our hearts better than we know, than even the way other people knows us. He's the only one who knows the truth. So let us leave the whole thing to God and trust in him who sees everything, who knows everything, and God will fight for us. And all these things that are happening, I don't know, Pastor Mackenzie killing a lot of people. These are the signs of the end days. Jesus said, at the end days, you'll see false prophet. All this is just happening according to the Bible. So let us pray, let us be keen, let us not be deceived. Let us know that these are end times. Let us be prepared. When we see these things happening, what are we doing as Christians? Are you taking time to 
tell God, here I am. Please help me be righteous before you. Help me walk in righteousness. Help me walk in holiness, you know. But if you're out here busy judging, saying what, what, you know, these things will pass. They will happen. God in you will happen. Nothing is getting God by surprise. Nothing is getting God by surprise. He already foresaw these things. He knew at that particular time things will happen. So let us focus on God and know that he knows everything. Let us check on our salvation with God. Let us put it right with God. And he's there for us and he loves us. God bless you so much as we continue praying for our country, our nation. And just know God will fight for his people. Don't You don't have to do anything or whatever. If he said, and he, if he has to fight for you, he'll fight for you. So nothing, you cannot bribe God. He'll do his work. That's what in my heart I'm feeling. Let God do his part. Salvation is personal. Let no one deceive you. Make it right with your own God. Thank you guys. Please, when you're watching this video, remember to subscribe and share. See you in the next video. Bye. Cheers.